Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Yorksville First, Pleasant Grove, and Tippecanoe United Methodist Church. And today I have a devotional to share with you out of the book of Acts, and it's Acts 15, verse 8. And it says, God knows people's hearts, and he confirmed that he accepted Gentiles by giving them the Holy Spirit just as he did to us. And so this argument here is, you know, the Jewish people, a lot of them had trouble accepting the Gentiles into the church and into the faith. And and the, he says that God knows their hearts. He confirmed that he accepted the Gentiles by giving them the Holy Spirit. And you and I, being Gentiles, should praise God that he did and brought us into the fold. But the, the phrase I, I love the most out of this verse is God knows people's hearts. Our God is not a God who just looks at the surface. In fact, if you remember anything about the call of David, remember David told Samuel, don't judge by outward appearances. He said, for I am the Lord. I don't judge as men do. I see the heart of the matter. And so maybe you have fooled everyone. Maybe, maybe you're someone who looks good on the outside, but on the inside you have deep, dark secrets. Maybe you have fooled everyone on earth, but you can't fool God. You can't put one over on God. He sees the heart. That's why the Bible talks over and over again about him not wanting just lip service because God knows the heart. He doesn't want you just to worship him with your mouth. He wants you to, you to live a surrendered life. He wants you to be completely devoted to him. With God, it's all or nothing because he knows the heart. And so if your heart isn't right, then he says nothing else you do matters. And so our first job is to make ourselves right with God. And that's by allowing Jesus to come into our hearts and allowing him to transform us and then everything else we do should reflect that change that christ has brought god knows our hearts and so we can maybe can maybe can fool everyone else around us but we can't fool god for he sees our deepest darkest secrets he sees what's deep down in our hearts and a lot of people they're they're worried by this thought you know this idea that god knows absolutely everything it, it makes us uneasy for me, it gives me great comfort because God knows everything I've done. He knows all of my sins, and yet he still offers forgiveness. He knows just how bad I am, and yet he still says, accept me, turn to me, spend eternity with me. He knows how bad we are, and yet he still sent his son to die specifically for us. Now, what a wonderful God he is. Amen.